air engine research. For those of you who are viewing this for the first time, uh, my channel is dedicated to research on compressed air and using that to drive a motor that would be useful for either in a vehicle or in the case now that I'm working on, it's a uh, assist for a bicycle. So let's go ahead and let you see the pictures that I've made of the parts and I've got a couple little videos there showing you how it was uh, progressing and looks like it worked out okay. The wheel here will drive the bicycle wheel, but it'll go in this direction. This is kind of the original design. It's in a plywood housing with a wheel in the center. It'll be two cylinders, one on this side, one on that side. This will ride on the bicycle wheel and turn it. It'll have a side on both sides and when it's on it'll be laying down like this and this will be underneath the wheel the valves will be one on here and one on there which i don't have it designed yet totally but this is the valve it will ride somewhere over here and as it goes in pushing. Be one on both sides. So oh, that's kind of the, how I'm at this point. I don't have I don't have it all worked out yet. So I'm working on it. This will be the cylinder that will be replaced in here. Right now I'm just using a wooden block and a piece of copper tubing to show the position of what it's supposed to be doing. But this will be replaced with metal. I will probably still use a wooden crank on it because I'm trying to keep the weight down as far as I can. And it's pushing straight up and down all the time, so it, there's no side strain on it, and wood will hold up to that okay.
Well, today I just finished my uh, cylinder and my push rod and attached everything. And I put a little groove in the wheel for centering on the tire on the bicycle. And it should, should be doing pretty good. I think so. And it'll be running in this direction because the bicycle tire goes this way. And when this goes this way, that makes the wheel turn this way on the bicycle. Like so. The opposite direction of this turn. This way, I should say. <laughs> But, looks like it's pretty good. Now I have to uh, make the valve assembly that's going to sit on the plate here. And there will be a valve on each side so that as the thing goes back and forth, it pushes the, the valve. So, got that? The valve over here. Be about down here, I think. There will be a, a T put on here with a hose going to the valve from both sides, depending on whether it's an intake, it'll have two hoses on it, and this valve will have one. So this will go to one, this will go to the other. So that's where I'm at right at the moment. I have the, the metal parts that I'm gonna use for the mount and for the mounting the valves to the to the support plate too that'll be out of uh, one inch eighth inch thick metal on the bottom and then the two plates will be on two inches so i can have a bolt on both sides of the valve so that should be about where it's at i don't know if i'll eventually need to put a spacer in here to get that out a little further or not. We'll have to wait and see on that. But I've got room to, to move this out another three quarters of an inch almost. If I need to. Well, that's it for today on this. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for checking in, and like I said before, I'll keep you posted on how it's coming along. Um, and you will be notified if you subscribe. So, thanks again for checking in, and until next time, see you soon.